Man, this team is going through a rebuild, so hold on to your breeches. What's up, Finn fans? So, again, if you can tell by the title, I got some things to talk about that might not appease a lot of us. And might a lot of us might be like, eh, okay, that's not a bad idea. But first, I just want to talk about the head coaching search. I, think, I feel like every beginning of my video from now until our new head coach is going to be a little bit of an update on the head coaching search. But before I get into that, you notice it's very bare behind me. That's because I'm moving. So that's not going to stop me from getting you guys videos at least four to five times a week. Um, and at least if something happens, I'm going to get a video off of you. But it's going to look very behind me because I'm packing. And then in the new place, you guys are going to be like, oh, whoa, look at that. He's got a ton of cool stuff behind him. So for now, just bear with me. I do apologize for the bareness, but I'm only going to be wearing some dolphin gear for you. How about that? So the update is Darren Rizzi is being interviewed for the head coaching job. Now, I'm a fan of Darren Rizzi. The special teams has always been great, especially this year, it's been great, except for the one game with um, John Denny had a problem with blocking against the Patriots. And, you know, but this, Darren Rizzi is essentially a head coach assistant and special teamer, and he's been killing it. He's been killing it forever. They're gonna look at his um, head coaching in college and try to go against that. But Darren Rizzi, demands the attention of the locker room. Darren Rizzi is a player's coach and he is a good coach. Do why, if if another name pops up, like if we can get John Harbaugh, but if we try to get John Harbaugh, I just read an article today that it's gonna cost at least two ones. Now, we're in a rebuild. That's where the second half of this video is gonna go, but we're in a rebuild. To give up two ones would be stupid. Um, but it also depends, so I'm, I'll get on that in a second, but let's get back to Darren Rizzi because I'm gonna start going off on tangent. The players want Darren Rizzi. Ex players want Darren Rizzi. So obviously, Darren Rizzi has some pull. Now, a lot of people are saying, you know, don't count Darren Rizzi out because he gets what he wants. So some of the players that are, are banging the table for Darren Rizzi, one being Kenyon Drake of the Dolphins, who said Rizzi is the ultimate players coach. He has a way of balancing the personalities of his players while getting the most out of them. He's intense but compassionate, and that's what makes him a great coach. That's Kenyon Drake, who's underutilized under Adam Gase that is now banging the table for Darren Rizzi. Michael Thomas, who's not on the Dolphins anymore, but was a great special teamer, one of our best special teamers with Walt Aikens, and then obviously everyone knows about the interception against the Patriots at home to win that game. He, he's with the Giants right now, and he said, great to see special teams coach uh, get a head coaching opportunity, especially Coach Riz. Players love him because he commands respect from everyone. He's relatable from the practice squad players to the highest paid guys. He always gets us prepared. Pray for you to get your shot, Rizzy. He's not even on the team anymore. And then, Brian Hartline. I love seeing the Miami Dolphins interview your Darren Rizzy. He'd make an excellent head coach, Finn's up. Mind you, I like Brian Hartline, and Brian Hartline commented back on one of my tweets to him, and I pooped my pants a little bit when he did that because I love Brian Hartline and I still have his jersey. Aaron Rizzi is getting interviewed, I think in the next few days, and then the offensive coordinator coach for the Chiefs, uh, Bellamy, if I'm saying his name wrong, I do apologize. He's getting interviewed afterwards, um, and obviously you guys already know, Adam Gase is being interviewed for the Jets job. I would die laughing if he got the Jets job, and a lot of you guys are saying, good, let him get the Jets job, he'll mess up that team, and he will tank that team and we'll have, you know, more. Don't be surprised where Adam Gates goes if he play, if he's a better head coach. Because this is why I want a head coach that has already been a head coach. Because if you're a good head coach, you will learn from your mistakes and not do it again. And I see if Adam Gates does go to the Jets, and especially with Sam Darnold, he might turn it around. But then also he might stay with his stubbornness and essentially poop the bed and help the Dolphins out. But that's my update on the head coaching search. I'm a fan of Darren Rizzi. Um, it, it's between him, the offensive coordinator of the Chiefs, and then potentially if we can get John Harbaugh or Jim Harbaugh. But speaking of John Harbaugh, let's get into the, the, the crux of this video and why you are like, I click on this shit, what is he talking about? No one's safe with this Miami Dolphins team right now. No one is safe. They're in rebuild mode. They are essentially... I don't want to say it's definite, but from the way Ross is talking about how he wants 
you know, Adam just wanted to win now. That's why I didn't want to go with him, which is the stupidest thing you could say. I, every head coach wants to win now. Don't you want a coach that wants to win? Um, but it doesn't seem like anyone's safe. The only players I would hope and pray to God is safe is Xavier Howard. Obviously, Mika Fitzpatrick is safe. Um, and Laramie Tunsil, because if you're going to get a quarterback and you want to rebuild, you need that stout left tackle. You need a stout corner and safety. But other than that, I don't think anyone else is safe. I think they will try to get as many picks as possible, especially if they can get more ones. Use those ones to get John Harbaugh. Now again, I wouldn't mortgage a draft for a head coach, especially if you have to give up next year's ones, because that's where the quarterback is. But I'm gonna talk about that in the comment of the day. But essentially, like Kenyon Drake has the potential of being traded, which sucks because don't do that. <laughs> but like Kiko Alonso, um, Cameron Wake, Robert Quinn, Rashad Jones, Ryan Tannehill, they're all probably going to be traded. Rashad J the ones that I don't want to see go, even though I, I don't know at this point, I don't know what the Dolphins are doing, I don't know what they're thinking about, I don't know, but it does seem like they're going the Oakland Raiders route. I don't want to see Xavier Howard, obviously Mika Fitzpatrick's not going anywhere, Kenyon Drake and Larry Thompson. I don't want to see those four dudes, and Rashad Jones, throw Rashad Jones on there. Out of everyone on the roster, I don't want to see those five dudes go anywhere. I don't want to see them get traded. Um, will he get traded? <sighs> Rashad Jones, if he can command like a third or a second, he might get traded. Um, if Ryan Tannehill, if someone's asking for a fourth and they are going to take his contract, fourth. I'll take a fourth for Ryan Tannehill. Ryan, that, that would be, I know a lot of you guys are already starting to comment, a fourth for Ryan Tannehill? We should get a bag of chips and a soda for Ryan Tannehill. I understand that, but there are teams out there that are desperate for a quarterback that might view him as some type of competition and some type of upgrade to what they have, and they have to compete with another team for paying-wise, and versus that, they probably would prefer to just do a trade instead of getting into a, um, a bidding war with each other. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, no one on this team is safe, but I feel like there are certain players that are safe, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I feel I feel that this team is going to get rid of a lot of talent to get draft picks and to clear up cap space to build for the future, which I don't see as a bad thing, but it depends on the talent they get rid of. Don't get rid of Drake, he's still young and he still has a lot to go for him. Don't get rid of Xavier Howard, yeah, he wants to be the top ta uh, paid corner or one of the top paid corners but he deserves it so don't get rid of him just pay the man and they're not going to get rid of Mika because he's just playing great other than that like Raekwon McMillan might get traded because he's just playing like crap so don't be surprised if you start seeing a lot of players like Cameron Wake and all these guys just not get re-signed and go but comment below let me know what you think of Darren Rizzi potentially becoming the Dolphins head coach the players, the ex-players, the retired players, back in Darren Rizzi. Comment below, let me know who you would, who you think would be traded that is a big surprise for this Dolphin team. Just to accumulate draft picks for potentially moving up in 2020 to get the quarterback we want, or to potentially trade for John Harbaugh. Also comment, let me know if you think the Dolphins should potentially try to trade for John Harbaugh, or if they should get Darren Rizzi, if they should take Bellamy, or if they should go for Jim Harbaugh and try to pull him away from Michigan. Comment below because you know what? We're getting into comment of the day. And this one comes from Impreza99, 99, 99ers. I don't think that's your name, right? And he says to me, D-Man, much props to your channel and success. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. I think I'm about 200 subscribers away from 3,000. So subscribe if you're not subscribed already and share the channel. Let's try to break 3,000, guys. Let's, let's push to break 3,000. I'm a long time Finn fan, over 40 years. I'm a bit annoyed that it's a... It's a shit year for a drafting quarterback. So what do you think? Load up on the defense this year, get a stud quarterback next year, or roll the dice in this, dra this drafting this quarterback this year? I say go defensive first. Fantastic question from you, Impreza. Um, also, like I said before, thank you very much for the love. I appreciate all you guys commenting, but let's get to your question. Um, this year's draft, I would not... I'd go best player available in the first round. I wouldn't even trade up. I would potentially trade down to get more draft picks, depending on the players that are available, if that makes any sense. So if we're, we're picking at 13, all of a sudden we're at 13, and there's about five to six players that the Dolphins really want, 
and go down about five spots. Pick up some more picks, you know? Do, do your magic. Even if it's like the the 20s that people want up, you could probably get a potential first round, like the cheat, like the, um, <clears throat> You could potentially get another first rounder next year for teams that want to get up to 13 to potentially take that corner, the defensive tackle, one of the top players there. So I wouldn't, if a certain quarterback falls to the Dolphins, and again, I still have to do my quarterback film study. I'm, st I'm still doing a video breaking down each position and who the Dolphins should look at top five wise. Um, but if a quarterback falls to them and they love him and they think he'll be better than any other quarterbacks coming out in 2020, then go ahead, take him. Again, best player available. But I honestly would wait till 2020, um, and I would take offensive linemen and defensive linemen in the first round. I would build up this line so that it's stout, so that it'll help with the, the corners and the linebackers on defense, and it'll help with the running game and the quarterbacks on offense. That's what I would personally do. I would build up the line, draft line, draft linebackers, draft wide receivers, build it up, and then 2020, take the quarterback, which means in free agency, they go after a quarterback that can start now. Derek Carr, Teddy Bridgewater, Nick Foles, you know, but it all depends on, on money-wise, but again, those are more videos coming out for who I want in free agency. Money, say, I got so many videos playing for you guys. So, I'm gonna get into my spiel. Follow me on Twitter. I've been tweeting out a lot. Every time I see Dolphin head coach news pop up, every time I see, potential news like a Antonio Brown trade and all that stuff. I'm tweeting it out. So follow me on Twitter if you're not following me on Twitter already. Follow me check it my second channel, The Bit Boys. You guys are absolutely amazing. I said to you guys in the last video, we're about six to seven subscribers away from 300. And you're like, I got you, Doug. We're at 304 subscribers. Thank you very much for that. I hope you guys are going over there, watching the videos, enjoying it, checking it out. And that's why you're subscribing. I really like, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate that. Be sure to comment on those videos. Let us know video games you want us to play. We will play it. Anything you guys say you want us to play. Older games, newer games, retro games, shooters, you know, sports games, like Final Fantasy. Anything you guys want us to play, comment over there and we'll play it for you guys. Thank you very much for going over there, subscribing, and helping us break 300 subscribers. Give this video a thumbs up because the future looks bright. We have a lot of potential candidates that are pretty good. There's a lot of rumors going around. Right now, it's the sexy time of the offseason and the free agency and the draft. This is when the offseason is nice and sexy. There's a lot of rumors. Everyone's high on their team, you know, building up their team. So give this video a thumbs up because you're going to get a lot more videos from me. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already because you're going to get a lot more videos from me. I'm at 2750 right now. If you guys can help me break 3,000, I would appreciate the crap out of it. Share the video with other Dolphin fans, you know, all that stuff. If you guys have any of the Dolphin channels or any football channels in general that you guys would like me to do a collab with, let me know. Let them know. I'm totally down to do collabs. STD, one of the coolest dudes on this YouTube channel, one of the coolest dudes I've met doing collabs. I've collabed with him twice. Nicest guy in the world. Let him know. I'm totally down to do collabs with anyone. So, other than that, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys very much for everything. I will see you guys probably this weekend or maybe even tomorrow. I may do another video for you guys tomorrow. That's how much I appreciate you guys. But like usual, stay classy and fins up.